Hi guys, welcome back, it's LSP, it's currently the 26th of April 2021. I'm going to go through CHSB today, uh, but before I do I just want to talk about Bitcoin in the previous video that I did. Um, and just be clear about, I, I want to be like really clear about something because I think what happens is people watch the videos and then they're not really paying attention to what I'm saying. You know, and this is not everybody obviously, it's just those people who just, you know, unfo right, I'll say it like this, unfortunately in trading or anything to do with making money yeah when there's money involved you know there are folks out there that will just watch something or read something and the only thing they're interested in is something that confirms what they want it to confirm that's it nothing more nothing less if they want bitcoin to go up then they go through a whole host of videos just looking for the ones that say bitcoin is bullish for example you know and i said in the previous video keep an eye on bitcoin over the next couple of weeks yeah Oh, sorry, I said keep an eye on Bitcoin over the coming weeks and months, you know, uh, and then started to talk about all the things that I, you know, think price is going to do, you know, etc. Blah 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 blah. So straight away, you know, as as it happens, somebody DM'd me um, and said, "You said Bitcoin was going to go down," <laughs> you know, and obviously it's gone up, you know, but they completely forgot everything that I said. They completely stopped, you know, um, didn't even bother to, 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 you know, to go into the analysis that I was talking about and this area up here and, you know, all the things, and the intricate details that I went through. And all they heard was Bitcoin's going down to, you know, 40 to 42,000. So that's what they're expecting, right? Um, you know, and I just want to say, you know, just for those of you who do that, don't, you know, just the whole point of, education the whole point of going through these videos or any video that you you know like to watch online you know i'm sure there's many many other people out there that talk about cryptocurrencies just keep it on an even keel do you know what i mean um there's a lot of good educators out there and they talk a lot of sense you know and they go through so much information you know and if you really pay attention to what they're saying and actually apply that to your trading or apply that to your investing and try to take the best of everything that you're listening to you'll do so much better, yeah? Uh, and then it's just a question of your own risk tolerance and understanding you personally and trying to figure out what your risk tolerances are, what you, you know, what you can handle emotionally, you know, and try to keep yourself on the bottom side of that curve instead of trying to just go crazy and, you know, because when you're thinking about the money all the time and wanting to make big money and, you know, getting lost in all the hype, it, you, you, you're going to end up making mistakes and just doing really stupid things, okay? So like I said, you know, please, and this is obviously a very, very small number. You're talking about 0.0001% of people that watch this video or watch these videos, you know, that do this, you know, um, and unfortunately they're the gamblers, you know, in the herd or the, gam <clears throat> the gamblers in the community. We're not here to gamble, you know, and I'm certainly not here to give you guys trading advice or to talk about things that, you know, in a way where I expect you to just go jumping in and out of things just because I'm talking about them. You know, I'm doing my very best to teach, yeah, uh, and to educate on subjects that, you know, are very complex, yeah, um, and can make you a lot of money. So obviously you have to put yourself in my shoes. Think about it for a second, yeah. I'm making videos that I know, even though I say not to, People use the information in the videos that I post, you know, to make trading decisions or investment decisions, you know, and that's a big, 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 big deal, yeah? That, that's not a joke. If somebody, and I obviously don't know if this has happened, but if somebody just goes jumping into Bitcoin, you know, short, for example, with 100 grand because I said I believe it's going down and they've seen me be very accurate for, you know, months and months. That's, you know, that's not very good if price rips to the upside and you don't have everything else in your toolkit to weather something like this, you know. Now, if you're in for 100 grand here because you think it's going down because I said so, for example, you know, and it goes all the way up here, but your account balance is, you know, 100 million, then that's fine. Your risk tolerance is great. Yeah. But generally, that's not the case. People are just looking to make quick money. You know, so again, I'm really sorry for the rant right at the beginning of the video, but I wanted to get that out then. I really wanted to make that clear because I don't want to be dealing with situations like this where people are coming at me with, I'm sorry to say, really stupid stuff, yeah? So 
Let's go over, in fact, I'll just quickly go over Bitcoin very briefly. Um, and I, you've heard me say this before. I mean, you can't really write this stuff, you know. Um, it's extremely accurate, some of the things that we do. Um, or that I do, sorry, not we, but, you know, that I do and that I talk about. And it, it's interesting because when you're paying attention, you look at these levels. Obviously, you guys have seen me do this many, many times. You know, I'll, I'll make a note of levels. I talk about these levels. Excuse me. I'll talk about these levels, you know, um, and you can see the price responses at these levels. It's like, can you, can you, I'll say to you like this, can you look at the things that I'm talking about, watch them unfold and then say, yeah, but it, it doesn't, you know, it's not real or it doesn't exist or it actually never happened that way, you know, and you guys see me, I don't, you know, I don't have any indicators on my charts. I don't, it's just pure, pure price action. Um, and it never ceases to amaze me how extremely accurate you can be with, you know, um, some of the tools that, you know, uh, I, I'll say it this way, sorry. It never ceases to amaze me through my experience over the years how accurate I can be with some of the tools that I have in my toolkit. And... For me, obviously, because I'm a trader, you know, um, this information is, you know, is 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 used as a trading uh, platform. So, you know, I will look at this now, and I'll be thinking, okay, look, the way in which it responded away from this level and came up here tells me whether or not a short here makes sense. Yeah, um, and I'll just tell you now, it doesn't. Yeah, but you know, um, there's a lot to take in there's a lot going on i just wanted to quickly just talk about bitcoin slightly just to kind of give you guys you know a little you know something to keep an eye on i obviously posted it in the discord chat as well uh, on the four hour chart um study it yeah just study it so chsb um you know nothing really much has changed you know we've been grinding sideways for a while now you know this has been going on for quite some time you know, there's accumulation of liquidity above this consolidation and below this consolidation. Obviously, we know there's no liquidity over here now. The next level of liquidity is all the way down here. There is a, a liquidity build up here, okay, around about 60 to 70. Um, but if it's going to come down here, we're probably going to end up down here around about sort of 55, um, which obviously I'm not expecting at all. But I'm just saying, you know, because all of the liquidity is down here in the accumulation side of things, you know, um, is to the upside the way that the flows are then you know we are expecting higher prices obviously in this level up here i did say 128 before the end of the month you know there is still time um i i, I and i'll be clear i absolutely believe 100 percent confidence that price is coming up to this level all day long you know what it does before it gets there is not my concern because i'm holding swiss book for an extremely long time in fact i probably won't sell you know what i have in swiss book and what we personally have me uh, and my brother have invested in Swiss Borg because we keep adding to the position as well. Um, we won't be getting rid of you know, Swiss Borg, but you know um, the upper band here is going to be traded to all day long. This is happening. Period. Yeah. Um, downside, I can't see other than it dipping and doing what it's doing now, which is basically just coiling. Yeah. This is just it's coiling, ready for a pop. You know, uh, it's the 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 likelihood of price coming any lower. Than what it's been doing so far, you know, is 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 very high. It's very unlikely, basically. Um, you know, even if we get more of this for for quite some time before it goes, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, downside risk is very low. Yeah, um, upside potential is very high, obviously. Um, and it needs to do this. It needs to deal off. It needs to work off everything all the way that it, you know up to this point that it's been doing since this explosive run to the upside. And you can see the weekly now tapped into this liquidity here and it's having a nice reversal and so far it looks very very nice and very very healthy um we just need that next level you know for price to dip into sorry for price to um to create you know so a pop to the upside stabilize around here and maybe just kind of go sideways for a little bit and then continue or just an explosive move to the upside but i will say this if price or, or, or when price finally starts to gain some legs and go you know go up and um eventually challenge these all-time highs then i think it's not and again depending on what what happens when it gets up there remember 
up here, you had that rip to the upside, people taking profits, another run up to the upside, people taking profits, another run, people taking profits. And then obviously, this is where people stopped taking profit. Yeah. And this is another nugget for you. This is profit taking. Okay. This is profit taking. This is profit taking. Yeah. This isn't. As it's going down now, this is dealing off of liquidity. People aren't selling here, right, because they want to make a profit. People are buying as this is going down. Yeah, and you can see this if you break down every single one of these candles. And yes, I've done it. Super, super anal. <laughs> I've gone all the way down to the lowest time frames you can imagine. And I've broke down every single candle right there, just here. And I'll zoom in right there on that candle. This one is where the, the profit taking stopped. Yeah, this is all accumulation to the downside. So as price is going down, it's being accumulated. People are buying, 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 buying. So there's a liquidity buildup above. Right? So we're gonna have. I don't want to say a. Sh you know, like what happens when you go to short squeeze and then you know something rips, absolutely explodes to the upside as everybody's trying to you know get out and whatnot. Um, you know, and those uh, situations are extremely, extremely volatile uh, and explosive to the upside. It's going to be similar to that. What happens is if price starts, well, when price starts to run and it runs into this liquidity pool, because it's been accumulating on the way down, yeah, and there's plenty of buys down here and facilitation of trade both sides of the market. When it gets there, it's going to pop. Yeah, this is my belief, right? Uh, and you'll notice, um, and I wanted to mention this in one of the videos and I'll do it now. You'll notice when I talk, I talk in absolutes yeah, when it comes to trading. Um, and I've said this before about my confidence and, and the way that I am personally, but especially when it comes to trading, because I've spent a long time studying, learning, experiencing, trading, losing money, making money, and going through that you know that process over and over and over and over again for a very, very long time. When I talk, I talk in absolutes because I'm extremely confident in the analysis that I have. So when I say something like, when it comes up here and all these, you know, this liquidity is tapped into, price is going to pop, you know, I say that as a statement yeah but that doesn't mean that's exactly what's going to happen and it goes back to what i was saying at the beginning of the video please listen carefully to what i say you know um i don't know how you guys are investing i don't know you know if you some people might just be buying every time it drops they buy every time it drops they buy every time they you know it drops they buy other people might actually try you know might might actually be trying to trade Swiss Borg, you know, through the app. So every time it drops, for example, they'll be buying and then getting out a little bit here, then it drops again, they buy, you know, and then they offload a bit. You know, other people, um, I don't even know if it's possible to short Swiss Borg. I don't think it is, but you know, if it was possible to short Swiss Borg, for example, people may be shorting Swiss Borg. I don't know what your investment or trading strategy is for Swiss Borg. You know, so when I say something or give advice or talk about something from an educational point of view. The whole point is to study it and then fit that into your own methodology, your own risk model, yeah, your own system, however it is that you you know you you, you work. Um, and as I've said before, I, I, I am confident in my analysis and my analysis you know is very accurate. Um, so just make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you know, um, for your own purposes and your own investing in your own trading you know uh, i didn't really want to be making a video starting the way that this video started uh, but every now and then i'm going to have to do that because like i said i don't want situations where people are coming back to me you know and attacking me because you know they're just can't be bothered to listen you know um and the community that we have is is such a wonderful community we have such a, a strong you know communication um, within the community, there's a lot of ideas that are shared. There's so many people that are willing to help and to jump in and to give advice, you know, based on their experiences, you know, and to try to nurture the beginners, nurture those who are, you know, a little bit antsy, you know, nurture those who panic or let their emotions get the best of them and they start to make, you know, silly, poor decisions. You know, and that's what I absolutely love about, you know, the Swiss Board community. What I hate yeah um is and it's a strong word hate but what i hate is when you have one or two people out of thousands and, and the number is very small that are very toxic in the way that they think yeah and i'm sorry to be brutal but this is just how it is i've met many people like this throughout my life 
I used to be toxic like this, yeah? When I started trading years and years ago, I was toxic like this. And this is why I know it and, and I can experience it. Sorry, I've experienced it and this is why I know what it is when I see it because I was exactly the same, you know? And it took me a while to kind of get that out of my system and to start to, to think about things properly and to be, you know, to humble myself a little bit actually, you know, and to start to listen to people who were trying to help me. You know, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help. People in the community are trying to help. So don't be coming, you know, at me saying, you're the reason that I've lost money. This person didn't say that specifically, but effectively that's what they're saying. You're the reason that I left money instead of, I'm the reason that I lost money because I don't have a plan. I don't know how to trade. I don't know how to invest. I'm just bouncing from one place to the next, just trying to find anybody to just agree with my opinion, you know. So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. The analysis on Swissborg was pretty... Pretty basic today. Um, I'll just leave you with this. Obviously, we have this level down here. You can see, again, uh, we'll just stretch this out so we know where we are. Um, obviously, I made a note of this a very long time ago. This is gone. See you later. You know, tapped into it here once, twice, a little bit deeper, three times, much deeper. Yeah. Uh, and then top side again, and we're just starting to grind up. I'm really liking the way that this is moving, to be honest. Uh, it looks awesome on the on the four hour. Obviously, we've seen this before, uh, but this is slightly different because the accumulation here was much deeper into this larger liquidity pool down here. Clearing this one out. So this is in control of this move. This was in control of that last portion just there. Yeah, so this liquidity pool was responsible for the whole move, but there was a liquidity pool just here that price tapped into. So in theory, this one, should have been responsible for this, but price went straight through it there, so it wasn't. It tapped in just there, and then deeper into this larger liquidity pool. So we know this is in control. This is important, because if price goes through this, yeah, we're getting a lot more of this crap. Yeah, maybe a little bit lower, possibly, you know, sort of 80, um, maybe a little bit into the 70s. Um, but I don't think that's gonna happen by, by the looks of things. And like I said, I'm very, very confident you know, that this is going to be traded to. So we'll see how we go. So again, guys, I'm, I'm really sorry that I started the video the way that I did. I apologize. You know, I don't like making videos like this, you know, or starting that way. You know, me guys, by now, I'm quite a bubbly person. I'm, you know, um, pretty sarcastic when I want to be, but generally I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm a pretty down to earth guy and, you know, I, I, I'm no disrespect, but I've given so much of my time, you know, and I always make the effort to help anybody that messages me. But if somebody messages me like this person did and starts banging on about they're losing money, you know, or I said this was going to happen and it didn't, you know, then I'm, I'm not going to help you. Yeah, I'm probably just going to switch off very quickly, um, you know, and I, don't, I just don't want to do that. I really hate doing that. You know, I, I try really hard to be, you know, there to help anybody that wants help, even people like that. I'm more than happy to do that. Just humble yourself a little bit and just understand you're responsible for the decisions that you make. Okay, uh, and if you learn to trade and invest through the information that I give, and you know, probably over a hundred people in the chat that give such awesome advice, you know, then you'll do much better. All right, because this is not just me. I'm, I don't want to make it sound like I'm the only one that's doing this. I'm not. I'm just the one that posts videos. There's so many people in that chat that are very experienced, know what they're talking about, you know, and can give awesome advice. Yeah, so just listen. Pay attention and apply what you're, you know, what you're learning, you know, to your own sort of investing and trading plan and ideas, you know, and you'll do much, much better, right? So I'm going to leave it at that, guys, uh, and I will catch up with you guys in the chat, and I will see you. Uh, I won't be around for the smart talk, uh, but I'll probably do a recorded session, uh, as Ben said, um, and he'll play it, or Ben will do it himself, but we'll figure it out before Thursday. Uh, and I will catch up with you guys soon. Take care.